You know, we've been in that position before. You know, teams have come out and got early leads on us, but we understand that it's a 40, 48 minute game. And uh, we got to battle every possession, and it's a game of runs. And if we continue to play well on both ends of the for, uh, floor, especially the defensive end, we'll get back in the game. And that's what we did on the night. How different did it feel? Different, do. Just with having Ty out there, and like you said, no more on the chair. It didn't really feel different, you know. I mean, Coach Malone, he done a lot for this organization, you know. Uh, I said, you know, last year that he's the best coach, head coach this uh, organization has seen since uh, Rick Adelman, you know, and uh, and that's credited to, you know, Ty Corbin as well. You know, he's put in a lot of work and uh, played a big part in this this organization's success over the last year. Uh, and it doesn't feel different. Coach Corbin, he, he's been with us since day one, you know, and he's been a major part of this team. So. Uh, not having Coach Malone, uh, was it weird, you know, walking into the locker room today and not seeing him? You know, yes. But uh, having Coach Corbin uh, as our leader, you know, uh, he's definitely picked up the weight that was lost. <sighs> Man, it was really shocking. You know, I didn't, I didn't see it coming. You know, but at the same time, uh, you know, I trust in uh, this organization. I trust in the owner, uh, his staff, and uh, and I believe, you know, with uh, what they're trying to do uh, will become a better basketball team. And that's not taking anything from Coach Malone because, like I said, he's the best coach since, you know, Coach Adelman in the last decade. Um, but uh, I just trust in ownership and, and hopefully, you know, uh, we become a better basketball team.